in the uh, refractory. Insulation blanket in the front refractory. After seven years they started getting old and deteriorated so we're rebuilding them this year. So this is a, a little clip on how to replace the refractory and installation blanket on a Will McLean 568 boiler. Here is the uh, front refractory that goes onto the main plate. And uh, this is what we're going to do. On boiler number one, there we've already replaced it. It's all back together. So, this morning here we'll have a little education on installing refractory and installation blanket for boiler number two. So we have a little kit that we ordered, it's a combustion replacement kit. Kit. We have the insulation blanket here and the uh, back refactory. It's all wrapped. There. And the glass for liquid glass put in the bottom of the chamber. And we have the rope for the uh, for the burner mounting plate and the front refractory that goes on the burner mounting plate. So the back refractory is in this plastic bag and it's damp. We're going to fold it out and then You can mold it. Like that. You can see where I've got it in there. I'm getting ready to mold it into place. Now I've taken the, I've taken the back the factory, the factory, and that molded in place, and the grooves of the section grooves, and then the top should be looking like that. The insulation blanket which lays on the bottom of the chamber it comes long because of for, for different size boilers and this is a 568 so the measurements for this to cut this insulation blanket is 16 inches 17 between 16 and 17 inches uh, wide and then the length be about ten and a half inches from the back refractory to the front of the boiler. So that's what we're going to do now. now. You can see where I've cut it, the right dimensions. So 
now we're going to take the water glass and put the water glass down on the bottom of the chamber. This is liquid water glass, so we're going to pour that into the chamber. As you can see, I'm spreading the glass with my fingers. So, I just like doing it that way. So, spread that water glass all over. some insulation blanket installed in the back of your factory. You can see here I'm remove the old front refactory off the mounting plate and I'm getting rid of the vacuum all the stuff up. Put new insulation in this area. We got new insulation in this area here. We're gonna put the refactory in now. And we have the factory refactory installed. Insulation all in there. And now we have this rope to put on. It goes around here like that. And so. What I've done, I've saved a little bit of that liquid glass, put around here, around here, so when I attach the rope, it stays on there. There we have the rope installed. Now we're getting ready to put the front plate on the ball of water. So we have the burners back on. The most boilers. It's hooked up, ready to go. So we we'll the fire room. Main switch on. Is purge. One kicked on. Here, the other one kicked on. It's cool. Boiler is good. New combustion chambers. Here. Here. And the oil line is coming 
down through there. And the other photographs I have go the old fill line system. So two years ago I changed up to the Tiger Leaf and I put a double wall on the ground. So I just stood here and got rid of all the ore lines and made a clean installation out of it. So this is kind of nice. This is kind of nice easy. door. And the receiving area in the back. Freezers. My little shop.